ever wonder why cycling fitness doesn't necessarily translate over to running fitness and vice versa? That's going to be the topic of our brain bomb for today. So you would think if you're cycling pretty heavily and you're really fit, that you could just jump into running and be similarly fit. But this isn't always the case. And here are the four reasons why. One, cycling and running have different muscle fiber recruitment patterns. Running will rely mostly on type 1 muscle fibers, while cycling still relying on type 1 muscle fibers will also involve type 2A and 2X. Second reason, running and cycling have different VO2 max differences. Running, because you're using more musculature to create locomotion, you'll have a higher VO2 max. And while cycling, you're more stationary, so your VO2 max will be a little lower. Reason number three, cycling and running use different muscle groups. Running is a lot of uh, muscle group used from the glutes, the hamstrings, the plantar flexors, and then some of your upper body musculature, while cycling is more quad dominant. And then reason number four has to do with neuromuscular fatigue in the central and peripheral nervous system. The fatigue from running is caused by duration and impact of the activity. And with cycling, the fatigue is due to the power generated cranking on your pedals and then from the muscle acidity rise as the demands of cycling increase. Now that we know why that fitness doesn't translate over, what can you do, do excuse me, to make it easier when you do? Well, one, get your butt in the gym at least two times a week. Two, if you're in your cycling season and you want to continue to run, I would do two running sessions a week, one long run and one threshold run, and vice versa. If you're in your running season and you're going to transition over to cycling soon, involve two cycling sessions a week, one long ride and one threshold. And then probably the easiest thing to do is just become a triathlete. Now, if you want to take a deep dive into this topic, head on over to www.enduraelite.com. There's a whole blog post on it. And until next time, stay fueled, stay focused, and stay fast.